Distinguished participants and dear colleagues, a really good day to you all. Interpol is a proud member of the International Consortium on Combating Wildlife Crime. Today, today is an important day. Today, we are excited to launch the iQuick Vision 2030, together with our outstanding colleagues from the CITES Secretariat, UNODC, WCO, and of course, the World Bank. Today, wildlife crime is pushing our most precious natural resources to the brink of extinction. Today, it is fueling the greed of transnational organized crime. Today, it is having a devastating consequence on the security and the livelihood of local communities across the world. With environmental crime ranking as the world's third largest illegal trade, Interpol recognises wildlife crime as an international security priority and recognises the time to act is now. We cannot fail to act forcefully and decisively while the survival of so many species is at stake. Today, more than ever, it's crucial to think strategically about wildlife conservation and the investigation of crimes that threaten the world's biodiversity. So, from today, the iQuick Vision 2030 and its action plan will play a key role in driving, in inspiring and in coordinating international efforts to prevent these crimes, to investigate them thoroughly and then to prosecute them effectively. iQuick is not only a mechanism about the effective collaboration amongst key international organisations, it's also much more. And more importantly, it's about actionable resource bringing concrete benefits to our member countries and ultimately to the environment and the resources that we all depend on. Dozens of training sessions and operations have been successfully delivered by the iQuick partners in recent years and all of this despite the challenges of the global pandemic. Together, we have been in the front line of detecting new criminal trends and developing toolkits to tackle those trends in a timely manner. With our unique policing capabilities and operational expertise, Interpol has pioneered enforcement action against predators who rob us all of our security and of our biodiversity. Operational successes have been achieved, leveraging on Interpol's role as the only global police organisation with the mandate of sharing nominal data across law enforcement agencies. If you will, let me recall that thanks to an Interpol Red Notice, and the operational supporting country that we delivered, the two criminals accused of large-scale rhino horn and ivory trafficking were recently arrested in Kenya and then extradited to the United States. We may also wish to remember another recent case where criminal intelligence analysis produced by Interpol with member country support triggered the arrest of a high-level Russian suspect hiding out in Brazil. But the reality is, colleagues, more needs to be done. And together, we must build on the lessons learned and the experience we have all gained. We are now committing with iQuick to the ambitious vision of a world free of wildlife crime. Today, we can do more. And from today, we must do more. We're confident that the iQuick comprehensive action plans, the strong commitment of member countries and the support of our strategic partners, we will succeed. We will succeed in empowering law enforcement and criminal justice systems to effectively address these devastating wildlife crimes. Of course, striving to meet the challenge of these wildlife crimes will be a tough endeavour. But it will also be an opportunity for our generation to launch a groundbreaking fight, never fought by law enforcement in such a comprehensive or in such a collaborative way before. So, colleagues, together, Today, we stand on a threshold. I remain committed to play an active role in this fight with you, and so does everybody at Interpol. I wish you not just a memorable event, but a significant event. Thank you very much.